It's the perfect small town. This is a community that's very proud of the history and the heritage here. Fort Atkinson is a very special place. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Fort Atkinson is located in Jefferson County, less than an hour from Madison, Milwaukee, and Janesville. I think Fort Atkinson is that perfectly sized city. It's about 12,000 people here. So you get that small town charm, but you also get a surprising amount of options when it comes to entertainment and dining. The historical scene is very alive here in Fort Atkinson, and you don't have to look too far to see signs of that. The name Fort Atkinson came from the military fort that was erected here during the 1832 Black Hawk War. The fort during the war was actually called Fort Koshkanong. Atkinson comes from the name of the general who was in charge of the U.S. troops. And so that when the town was named, they combined Fort and Atkinson to come up with our name. There's nothing that you can see of the original fort, but we do have a reproduction fort that was erected in the 1960s. It is on the far edge of town. The Horde Historical Museum was established in 1957. We have an exhibit dealing with effigy mounds that were built here in our area. We also have exhibits on local history as well as the National Dairy Shrine Museum. Their museum that's located here really honors the past and looks back on what people have done for the dairying industry. We are home to some of the most incredible mound groups in the state including a panther in Talio. And that's really incredible to have that history just in our own neighborhoods that we drive by it. I've seen a few effigy mounds mm -hmm. in Wisconsin. This one looks different. Mm -hmm. The majority of other effigy mounds have been built up. This one, they dug out of the ground into the shape of a panther. Only known panther in Talio mound, known in the world here in Fort Atkinson. It's, okay. it's truly a, a treasure for all of us. And this other iconic Fort Atkinson historic site is pretty hard to miss. When you asked me to meet you at a water tower, I figured it was gonna be a pretty special <laughs> water tower. And it is. It is. It's That's gorgeous. It. it is, it's a beautiful water tower. Built in 1901 by the city of Fort Atkinson. At that time, it was important for cities to have a clean water source for their communities. Mm -hmm. It is a source of municipal pride. It's one of the first things you see as you drive into town. And it just, to me, it says you're home when you see the water tower. Like that. That. Really an iconic emblem exactly. for Fort Atkinson. Exactly. The best part of it is you can walk up it. You can climb the steps, you can go to the very top, take a look around and enjoy the views. From the top, you're seeing everything from schools to churches. You see downtown Fort Atkinson. You can see communities just outside of Fort Atkinson. You can see about 15 miles out. Just a wonderful way to get that bird's eye view of a beautiful town like Fort Atkinson. Stream episodes of Discover Wisconsin to find more historic hidden gems across the state. Coming up, the tours and trails of Fort Atkinson. Discover Wisconsin will be right back. We're exploring Fort Atkinson today on Discover Wisconsin. Fort Atkinson is an active community, so there are plenty of opportunities to enjoy its parks, waterways, and trails throughout the year. A trip to Dorothy Carnes County Park is a good idea in any season. Trek along one of the numerous hiking trails for beautiful views of Rose Lake. Traversing nearly 40 miles, the Glacial River Bike Trail connects Watertown to Janesville. And Fort Atkinson is a convenient stopping place right in the middle, especially with Jones Market just off the trail. The Jones Market is a very unique store located in our original manufacturing facility that was built in 1907. We highlight our own products, but equally as important, we highlight other products from family-owned businesses from primarily Wisconsin. So it's a little, you know, enclave where you might be able to find cheese you won't find elsewhere. 
uh, or unique products, and that's what makes it fun. It's kind of a treasure hunt. John's Dairy Farm has been a Ford Atkinson staple for six generations, starting as a small, family-owned dairy farm before expanding to sausage and other meat products. Today, the company is still run by the Jones family and is a pillar of the community in Ford Atkinson. It's a great source of pride to know that a company that's been around as long as we have still manufactures 98% of the products we sell right here in this community. Over the deli case, there is something that we call the history beam. Since 1912, people have signed that beam with their start date. Generations of people have, you know, worked here and signed that beam. And people may come in who's somebody's granddaughter and say, that's my granddad up there. And it really brings to light the, the fact that we've got great employees who make great products, and that's the reason we're here, and that's the reason we're gonna be around for a long, long time. One of the defining features of Ford Atkinson is the Rock River, which flows right through town. You're gonna to see a lot of people here in Ford Atkinson boating, kayaking, fishing, and just taking walks along the Rock River right here in town. Ford Atkinson's waterways are so peaceful and quiet, and the Rock River flows right into Lake Koshkanong, so you can hop on a boat and cruise for miles. So Mike, is this what your typical Wisconsin summer looks like for you? It is. Uh, <laughs> my family and I love coming out and go boating. You know, you got the sunsets, you've got, you know, just miles of water, miles of shoreline. We certainly enjoy being out here. I feel like this is all I need in life. A nice pontoon on a beautiful lake. I think all I'm missing is a cocktail or a beer. <laughs> We've got some of those too, so we, we would never leave shore without them. All right, this is my kind of people. Do you feel like lake life here or river life is synonymous with Fort Atkinson? I really do. You can be in downtown Fort Atkinson, and from there you can flow down, enjoy the sights of, of the river. Um, whether you're in a boat, a pontoon, a ski boat, or you want to go kayaking or canoeing, and then get down into Lake Kashkinong and enjoy beaches and restaurants over there as well. So you can make a day of it, a weekend of it. Being out here, this is where I want to be. Find all the ways you can get out on the water in Fort Atkinson at discoverwisconsin.com. Next, find out where to get the goods in Fort Atkinson. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Ford Atkinson, right here on Discover Wisconsin. Ford Atkinson is a small town, very family friendly, very ag focused. What I found is that there are a lot of activities here where you can really take in that all American experience. Exhibit A, Hoyer Orchards Farm Market. Hoyers started in 1948. We have jams and jellies. In the fall, we make all our own apple cider on the farm. We do cookies, the various fruits, and of course the flowers are uh, a very important part. They call us the pie place. As far as the variety of pies, we have probably about 20. Apple is still the biggest seller. We make our pies from scratch totally. We make our own crust. We make our own fillings. People have said, oh, they're pies just like my mother used to make, or they're the best pies around. The homemade product is just so much better. <laughs> you, you can't beat it. Once you've tasted the homemade pie, they come back. If Poyer's pies inspire you to start baking at home, head straight to Stefan's Orchard during the summer to pick your own blueberries. Luke? I'm pretty embarrassed to admit this, but I did not know that blueberries grew on bushes. This is my first time seeing a blueberry bush. Here you go, indeed. Now, what's the best time of year to come out and do some blueberries? Mm -hmm. Yes, early to mid-July, they're coming on pretty strong. Early to mid-July. Mm -hmm. 
I've never seen an unripened blueberry and they're actually very beautiful. I've mm -hmm. never seen pinks and greens in there. I'll tell you a little trick. The biggest, sweetest oh. ones are always on the bottom. They're always underneath the foliage oh. down here. Oh, you didn't tell me that Do trick. Do you see that? I love blueberries. It really is one of my favorite fruits. Yeah, I agree so 100%. Good. And I think that picking a fresh blueberry versus getting a blueberry in the store, there's just a world of difference. Um, people who, who only had store-bought blueberries, they'll tell me, I've never had a blueberry that tastes like that. I think I ate more blueberries than I actually picked and uh, left in my bucket. I mean, if you love blueberries and you love that experience of really kind of picking your own food and working for your meals a little bit, there's just kind of something extra special about being able to, to do that at an orchard like this. So much about Ford Atkinson feels like a step back to a simpler time. And arguably, nothing triggers those feelings of nostalgia quite like Homerson's Pond. From the 1920s through probably the late 1980s, this was the city skating rink. This was a Norman Rockwell place when I was a kid because everybody was here and it was the place to be for winter enjoyment. Steve and a few friends decided they wanted to turn Homerson's Pond back into a winter gathering place. After nearly four years with help from hundreds of volunteers and fundraising from the community, a brand new warming shelter now welcomes visitors to the pond every winter. The Homerson Pond Shelter has become a center recreation place. We've got uh, three and a half miles of ski trails. People come down, they enjoy the ice, they walk their dogs. The Candlelight Ski and Hike is one of our biggest events of the year that bring people down to the park. We've got a mile of trail that runs through the wooded portion of the park along the river and we light it with candles and people come out and enjoy winter. Fort Atkinson is a very special place. When there's a need, there are people who step up to the cause. And this whole building, this whole park, is just a symbol of that. This building is literally built to be here for 250 years. And that's what makes it special to me. You know, this is just my little piece that I gave back to the city I love. Follow along with the crew on Instagram to see pictures from all of our travels around the state. And tag your own snapshots with hashtag DiscoverWisconsin for a chance to be featured. Up next, get ready for a night on the town in Fort Atkinson. Stay with us. We're back in Fort Atkinson here on Discover Wisconsin. Despite its small town atmosphere, Fort Atkinson packs quite a punch when it comes to a night out. Just off the Glacial River bike trail, a few miles outside of town, is the Stagecoach Inn, where a classic Wisconsin Supper Club experience awaits. I try to achieve a blend between a Northwoods resort and, and a nice family uh, Supper Club setting. We serve traditional Supper Club fare. We specialize in buying the best ingredients we can and, and keeping it simple. It's really rewarding when people walk in the door and, and say, hi, Sean, hi, Rosie, hi, Jamie. And, uh, and we remember their name, remember what they have for a cocktail, basically remember what they're gonna order, and going through life with them together. For dinner and a show, head to one of the Midwest's most popular dining theaters, The Fireside. We actually have two different spaces, the restaurant space and the theater space. So uh, it's a little different than the traditional dinner theater. And we are a theater in the rounds. And our stage is 20 by 20. So the furthest seat you can be away from the stage is 35 feet. So you still, no matter where you are in the theater, you're going to see the actors, actresses' facial expressions and their costumes. And you really feel like you're immersed in the story. We do Broadway musicals. We do seven different shows a year, and we have professional casts that are hired directly from New York and Chicago, and that's kind of the top level talent that you're gonna see on our stage. For live entertainment in a smaller setting, Cafe Carp has been a fixture in downtown Fort Atkinson since 1985. 
Mechanics are not helping. I'm running out of fuel. The simple wants and the complex greed. It's a place where people can talk to each other, go hear music. The intimacy of a small room never fails to satisfy. When that room is full and everybody's on your vibe and you're connecting, if somebody can add something to a song, uh, they will. And it creates a situation where musical magic can occur. Cafe Carp's reputation as a haven for singers and songwriters attracts performers from all over the country. Like Peter Mulvey, a Boston musician who tours all around the world, but makes time to perform here a few times a year. Your music has taken you to some awesome venues, yes. awesome cities. But what do you think it is about Cafe Carp that brings you back again and again? They've built a room solely dedicated to listening. That's the only thing you can do in this room. And so this place is semi-legendary in the sort of shallows and shoals of the music industry. In a venue like this where it's so small and you can really see the faces of the people, does that intimidate you as a musician or do you like that? I like it and it intimidates me. I mean, I have played in thousand seat theaters and there's a certain safety in that there's a certain anonymity. I couldn't possibly make eye contact with all thousand people. Yeah. Whereas here, it's deeply intimate. I just feel at home. In a world where there's YouTube and you know social media in general, you can stream just about any kind of song you want. Why do you think it's important for people to come into a venue like this one and experience that music firsthand? That's the only place music happens. You know, you can go to a museum and you can look at a painting. You can buy a book of art history and you can look at the same paintings, but they're little and that's what it is like to listen to recorded music. Music happens in the mind and heart of a listener. It doesn't happen on pieces of vinyl, it doesn't happen on pieces of plastic, and it doesn't happen on screens. Mm -hmm. It happens in the mind and heart of a listener. Yeah. So that's what this room is for. There is nothing I love more than finding places like Cafe Carp. It's something you clearly want to come back to. Speaking to Peter really kind of confirmed that for me, that this is a place that I think is very hard to let go of. It's pretty unique and special, I think, that Fort Atkinson has this legendary music venue right in its downtown. When you visit Fort Atkinson, there are many places here that truly embody the spirit of this community. I think there's just this innate beauty that comes along with being a community like this one, located on a river like this one. Just the overall excitement of the city is definitely surprising. Stream Discover Wisconsin anywhere, anytime. Continue the adventure on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, Smart TV, Chromecast, and discoverwisconsin.com.